Hi friends, welcome back to Managing Mona's Mola. I am Mona. Welcome to all my returning subscribers and my new subscribers. I am happy that you are here. This channel is all about paycheck to paycheck budgeting, cash stuffing my day to day cash envelopes, cash stuffing my savings challenges, and documenting my mortgage payoff journey. My goal is to pay my mortgage off early so I can retire early. So if any of those topics interest you, I welcome you to join my channel. Happy Payday Friday, my friends. Yay! Here I have a paycheck to budget. Yes, indeed, I have a brand new paycheck. I have to tell my money where to go before I start getting careless. So today I am budgeting my paycheck dated April the 12th. And I have to look ahead. This is my monthly spread. So I'm looking ahead for the next two weeks. This paycheck is going to cover from April the 12th to April 25. And I have to take just one moment to thank Mrs. K Designs over on Etsy. She provided this beautiful sticker monthly spread, the paycheck stickers, the payday stickers, some of the bill due stickers, I just love her designs. I got these not too long ago. She might still have them there on Etsy. But let me show you what May looks like. May has these beautiful pink roses and this beautiful sidebar. And I will go so far as to show you June. Isn't this beautiful with the yellow flowers and the white flowers? These are from Mrs. K Designs. She even provided some freebies with butterfly stickers. And the payday stickers are so cool. So I really wanted to show them off. So I'm not endorsing any products. I just like to share the products that I use and that I enjoy looking at. Keeps me motivated. These stickers here are from Hobby Lobby. So, okay, I have, let's take a look and see what my bills are that I need to cover. So my cell phone bill is already paid. I do have my home security bill. Internet was already paid. I do have a credit card bill that I need to take care of. So I am going to flip to the first paycheck budget tracker for April. All right, so this is my paycheck budget tracker. I always use one of these every time I get paid. I'm going to write it at a slant here in the beginning. I hope you don't mind. Okay, so the paycheck date is April 12, and this covers the period of time, April 12 through April 25. My next paycheck will be on Friday, April 26. Okay, so I always have a carryover from my last paycheck. This is a buffer in my checking account. I never draw my checking account down to zero. $62. And this is paycheck 
number one for April, 25, 85, 32. So I'm going to add these together. 62.54 plus 25.85.32. This gives me an inflow total of 2,647.86. And I wanted to share that this is my take home pay after all my deductions by my employer, I've taken out of my paycheck. So those deductions are five items. The first is my 401k contributions. That's automatically taken out. I contribute the max to take advantage of my employer match. So my 401k is the first thing that's taken out. I have an automatic deposit to my savings account, my health insurance, my dental insurance, and some giving contributions. So those five things are taken out of my paycheck and this is the leftover take home pay after all those deductions. All right, so here's where I get into my fixed expenses. And looking at the calendar, I can tell that my home security is due. That is due. Tax day. And that is always the same amount every month, 66.48. And I was a very bad girl. I used my Visa credit card, so now I have a payment to make. So I always have to pay my credit card back, bring it back down to a zero balance. This is what happens when, when I go spending money. I shouldn't be spending money. And that credit card payment is $251.81. Those are the only two bills I have right now. So I'm gonna add these together. 66.48 plus 2.51. 81. So my fixed expenses total is 318.29. And I'm subtracting that from my inflow total of 26.47.86. And I have a leftover of 2,000. 329.57. Okay. So here is where I allocate money for my day to day cash envelopes, things like groceries and pet supplies. So the first thing is my allowance. I tuck money into my wallet every payday. I allow $100 for guilt-free spending. I don't like to track that. That is for coffee or whatever I choose to buy. Next is fast food and groceries. I allow $150 for two weeks. 
Next, I have my car juice. This is gas. <laughs> $25. Okay. I have my fur kids. Miscellaneous. And giving. For my fur kids, I am going to budget $50 for their food, their treats, supplies. Miscellaneous is also getting $25 in case I miss something on my budget. I have a little bit of cash that I can recover with. And I also like to set aside an additional $20 for giving. And that is about it. I'm going to add these together and get my variable expenses total. 100 for my allowance, 150 for fast food and groceries. $25 for car juice, $50 for my fur kids, $25 for miscellaneous, and $20 for giving. So that equates to I am going to subtract 370 from the leftover up here, 2,329.57. So that gives me a leftover of 1,959.57. All right, so now I'm going to carry this dollar value to my sinking funds section. 1,959.57. And I have three of them that I normally plan for. The first is car maintenance. And car insurance, it's one in the same little fund there. There's $50 for that. Next is gifts for birthdays, special holidays. I'm going to budget $50 for this envelope. And I also have my health and beauty. I'm going to budget $50 for here. That totals $150. So I have $19.59.57 minus $150. So that leaves $1,809. And 57 cents, which I'm bringing to my extra debt section, 1,809.57. I am going to budget from this paycheck an extra mortgage payment
and this is going directly to my principal to pay it off sooner. Okay, I am going to budget $403. So I'm going to subtract 403. This is my only debt other than these credit card payments that you see occasionally, but it's not a month to month debt like this one is. So that leaves me with $403 as total extra debt. Leftover is now fourteen oh six fifty seven. All right. Okay, so I have several things going on here. I have my Let It Bloom Savings Challenge. And I'm going to reserve $225 for this. I have the house renovation project that I'm going to be doing later in the calendar year. That entails the exterior stucco that I have to get redone on this house. So that is what I'm saving for. And it's gonna be very expensive. In fact, at the end of the month, probably around the 26th, I have to go into the office, reaffirm what the, they're going to charge me in essence. In other words, get an updated estimate and schedule that, put in a down payment for that work. I think it takes four days for them to do that work. So I'm going to transfer to savings for that stucco project. And I'm going to transfer $600. Actually, I think I can do more since I have quite a bit left over here. I never leave too much in my checking account because it doesn't gain any interest. So what I'm going to do is increase this I'm going to rethink this transfer for my house stucco project and I always leave a checking account cushion this is the buffer And this is what I will carry over into the next pay period, kind of like what this 6254 is. This amount will get carried over into the next pay period. So let me see. Let's see, I have 140657. I'm going to subtract 225. For my let it bloom and I'm going to leave $81.57 as my buffer in my checking account just for a tiny emergency that may come up maybe I miss something something happens and I need an extra $20 or so at least I can go to my checking account so I'm going to subtract 81 57, which will stay in my checking account. So I am going to transfer $1,100 into my savings account this time around. I'm going to add these together now. 225 plus 1100 plus 8157. So that is an extra savings total of 1,406, 
57. And if I subtract that from the leftover up here, it does give me a zero-based budget. All right, so I'm gonna check my math just to make sure. So I have a carryover of 62.54 plus my paycheck, 25.85.32. That gives an inflow of 26.47.86. Subtracting my fixed expenses total, of 318.29. So that leaves 2329.57 left over. I'm going to subtract my cash envelopes. This is what I'm gonna live on for the next two weeks, $370. That leaves 1959.57. These are my long-term sinking funds for 150. My extra to debt, which is $403, minus my extra savings total of 1,406.57. And that does give me a zero-based budget. All right. Well, that does it. Another paycheck. I can live with this. I'm still paying extra to debt. I still have money to live on. I'm saving extra money. So I'm very comfortable with this budget. How's your budgeting going? Let, let me know how your budgeting is going. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me today. I hope you enjoyed how I break down my paycheck and assign every dollar a job. Stay tuned for my cash stuffing into my Let It Bloom Savings Challenge. That'll be coming up. And I will see you next time. I wish you peace and happiness. Take care of yourselves and enjoy the spring weather.